Black Science TV 111, I'll say before, I'm back at y'all again. Now, this right here is the beginning of a new era for a new intelligence for myself. When I say that, I'm talking about once a month, I'm going to do a lecture um, in honor of the Queen. And this lecture will be me tapping into other dimensions that is inside of me that will reflect through me in the form of intelligence from my mind to yours. So right now we're going to go into, I got my spirits with me. We're going to go into, this is a this is a, just a uh, miscellaneous lecture. So we don't have no name for this one since it's the first one. But I'm coming to talk about the different breeds of energy. Because when we talk about energy, we're talking about what? We're talking about a source connected to a higher source. When you look at raindrops, or when you take drops out of an ocean, those drops is as big as the ocean that it comes out of. And we are the drops of energy that's connected to that ocean of that power source or that greater source outside of ourselves. But outside of ourselves and our mind is really inside of ourselves. So we have two outside of ourselves. The process or the genetically modified outside of ourselves is right here on this physical realm. The natural source, which is inside of ourselves, or the natural inside of ourselves is the mind. The mind has many directions. It's more than a north, south, east, and west in the mind. It's only four. It's only a square. It's only a north gate, what we call on the physical realm, which is the so-called earth. And again, we're going to go into that later too because we always talk about an earth, but the same people that gave you the earth or taught you about the earth, we go against them. So how can you go against the very people who substantiated an illusionary reality for you and you say that they oppress you, but you still use their ideologies and their theories to fight one another? That's very hypocritical. But I'm going to bring you from the mind into the matrix. Meaning, I'm going to bring you from the feminine to the masculine. The masculine is the illusionary figure of the feminine. The feminine is the reality which takes away from itself the illusion, which is a reality, in a sense, to be able to maneuver for her agenda. Now that don't now we go, don't let's not get into the sexist talk because many people will look at this video and say what? Oh, I thought we supposed to be the man is this, the man is that. Let's get off of this artificial thinking. Let's get off of this who's more superior than who. Let's go into the higher forms of elements to relocate or to dedicate our intelligence to that which gives the source to us, which is her. And in the word her, you have he. It's just that you are disconnected from one of the planets that she is connected to in all of this existence. But because we are connected to her, we are connected to those other planets. It's just that she can see it with her real eye, which is her fourth eye, not the third, because we don't see, the, only the masculine have a third eye. She can see it. We can hear it. It's just like when you come out of the womb and your eyes closed and you have your mother there rocking you, protecting you, singing to you, feeding you, nurturing you, right? You can't see the planets of the illusion. You can hear it. But because you can't see it don't mean that she's not helping you to see where you are. She's helping you to see it by way of letting you know or comforting you or putting you in a comfort zone where you can be adequate with where she is. But because, so just because you're connected to her, you're connected to that which she sees, even though you can't see it. This is for those who know, not believe, but know what I'm talking about. And like I said, these lectures is going to be in honor of my queen. So if y'all have any questions at the end of the video, I tell you, I'll give you her information. Y'all can send y'all questions. We're going to do QA at the end of all of them. So that way she can read your name. Send, your, send, you, send, you, send her your name and send her your questions so she can give them to me so that that way I can answer at the end of the lecture. Now, 
Everything that we see, and I just put that in my previous video, every bird that we see, every ant, every piece of wind that we feel brushing against this thing that we call the physical is in our DNA. Every person that you met here is in your DNA. They were just acted upon or activated upon another agenda to either help you be negative or positive on this dimension. We have other worlds within other worlds within other worlds that we are living in that is helping us or assisting us to be able to connect to our ancestors, which is us, in the form of other elements. Now, when I say elements, when I say ancestors in the form of other elements, I'm not talking about air, water, earth, or fire, because there's other elements. Remember, remember they give you only north, south, east, and west. Here, that's only 33 degrees of their Freemasonry directional science. But there's more elements, just like there's more chakras. You exist more than in the form of water, air, earth, and fire. Sound, thought, migration, different so-called humanities. The Osiris that you speak of, the Isis that you speak of, the Africa that you speak of. In another dimension, in the Africa, in another dimension, the Chinese regulate that culture. And the Africans in another dimension that we see here are Chinese in another dimension. Stick with me. Because we're going forward here. But in the other dimensions, we're going backwards. Meaning that what we call time is going backwards somewhere else. But let me ask you this question. Even though we were winding backwards in another dimension or going forward in this dimension, is there an ending or is there a beginning? Just like you put something inside of a tape player and you rewind it. The difference between the tape player and you, the information in that tape player is going to stop and then you press play. You never stop. You can never press play to the power source that you connected to. Stick with me for a second because I'm going somewhere here. Every what we call animal that you see, we see it as being something that's just a part of the picture of the illusion. But these things as an illusion is bringing intelligence to us. And this is why I say that these comedic community people, these so-called conscious community people, when you look at the, the walls of human bodies and bird heads and different other variations of things in nature, you don't understand what you're seeing because you're only seeing it as an art being on side of something that you need to decode. But after you decode it, you have to be able to see yourself inside of the thing that you decode. Because if you can't see yourself inside of the thing that you're trying to decode, guess what? Your only art on, side, on top of a wall inside of an illusionary system, and this is when it becomes religious. You become more religious than the people who you are against, such as the Christians, such as the Muslims. Everybody has their part inside of the picture that we are on. But there are many pictures that we are on, or that we are in, that is intercepting certain things that is supposed to sustain us as far as our own agenda. When we say we're looking for truth, whose truth are you looking for? You can't run up behind Farrakhan and say Farrakhan is telling the truth about the white man, but then you don't do your investigation or do your research to see or ask what is the source that Mr. Farrakhan is connected to. I know that many people is going to be against me, but I don't care. Because death don't exist to me. The word death was created by the same people who created the word Jesus. The word die. The word hell. I'm going to hell. All of this is fear frequencies to put you under a spell so that you can create a reality to be able to oppress you. Something that don't even exist. How can something that don't exist oppress you? Only when you allow that illusionary thing that don't exist to oppress you. You make it real. So you are committing suicide to your own self by allowing it to be real. When it's not. Why? Because another man like Farrakhan or another man like Jared Falwell or T.D. Jakes to get in front of you and paint your life or your records or 
or your history for you and tell you that this is what's going to be. And when you allow that to become a reality, you now take your history or your intellectual reality and you shut it down. And now you allow genetically modified realities into your mind to take over your mind. And you are now body snatched by somebody else's ideologies. You are now body snatched by somebody else's ideologies. T.D. Jake's fingerprint don't look like yours. Mr. Farrakhan's fingerprints don't look like yours. Your fingerprint is an example of your truth. So if Mr. Farrakhan's fingerprints don't look like yours, or Mr. T.D. Jake's fingerprints don't look like yours, then their truth is not yours. Because their truth is their self-preservation. Their blueprint for their self-preservation through an agenda to teach you something that has nothing to do with where you come from. So if you are following the blueprint of somebody else's self-preservation, then guess what? You are going against the laws of the universe because the first rule of law anywhere you go is self-preservation. No fingerprint is alike. No fingerprint is alike. And because no fingerprint is alike, no truth is alike, meaning that no world is alike. My world and your world is different. I'm not giving you something to believe in. I'm giving you something to think about because when you think, it's like rubber two sticks together. You are igniting or sparking an element to work for your benefit. You can now cook your food with the fire that you've been rubbing with those sticks, that you created or ignited or initiated with those sticks. As long as you keep your thinking like this, you want to ignite something. But as long as you're looking out to another man to ignite your fire and you don't know the agenda of what they're doing with that fire that they're giving to you, you're going to burn yourself with the fire that you are creating with that friction. And that friction is their agenda. Now, I get a lot of people sending me little threats through YouTube. I will say I knock you out. Oh, say you're an agent. Oh, say never on my son's soul. Never been an agent, never will be. I'll never sell out. I'll never sell out. Why? Because the laws of attraction is what? We talked about self-preservation. That's the first law. But self-preservation is also connected to something called the laws of attraction. The laws of attraction is what you put out is a reflection of you. Or what you put out comes back to you in greater, not lesser, but in greater turmoil throughout the superiority of the agenda that you put out against somebody else. So what you do to others come back to you. And my, Now, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. But I know for a fact that the detailed speculations that is put out against me, it's only put out against me to swerve the minds of those who are suppressed, who, who are surpassing this third dimension going straight to the fifth, not through the fourth. Some people going through the fourth dimension, meaning that they're still stuck within a Mandela effect. And we're going to talk about the Mandela effect today too, because the Mandela effect is more than a record or an occurrence reoccurring before. Oh, I thought Mandela died in 93. And all of a sudden, now he said he died. He died later. So I've seen that before. Now, now you are talking about the metaphysics of men in black. This is when they take your memory. And they start to take the memory of the people using foods, using water, using hurricanes, using the sun. The sun takes intelligence. If they set up an artificial, what we call a sun, to zap your brain, not just with satellites. Because, yeah, we can say satellites because most of the suns are satellites. They can zap your brain with these satellites and take you back. Because they don't want you to see something here. They made a mistake, so they rewind you by taking a certain memory out of your physiological system. So what they do is they suppress your biochemical structure by taking an artificial biochemical structure to zap your body, take over your body temporarily to shut down certain things in your DNA. And they may add something to your DNA that you'd be like, damn, I didn't know that this house was here on this corner. I didn't see this church here last week. I know this person lived next door to me. But you don't 
think about it. You just keep going on with your daily life. Why? Because your human tendencies, what we call your human tendencies, take over. They block you. Just like uh, 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 in the computer. They put certain things in there as a virus to block. The, the computer ain't thinking when it's a virus, it's being taken over by something else. So most of us are taken over by something else. But they can make that something else appear to be you. And when that something else appear to be you, you don't think that never will try to battle it or try to combat it because all you see that is you. So you now you have genetically modified yous in your mind telling you, don't worry about if the neighbor was here last week. Just keep living your life. You get what I'm saying? So, now we're going straight to the earth here. People curse me, and they say, well, how you know we don't live on the earth? Well, how do you know that we do? Now, I reflect what you're saying on to me as a question. How do you know that we do? Because you didn't know about the earth until what? Just, just, just tell the truth. You didn't know about the earth. And this is to those conscious, metaphysical, spiritual, te so-called teachers out here as well. Beyond the conscious community. You all run around still teaching our people that the earth is flat or round, but yet you have to first prove that it's there. You never knew about an earth until an educational system told you about it. You never knew about it until a religious system. The same religious system that you say you hate now and you feel like the truth about, you're still using those spells that you're throwing on our people, but yet you're supposed to be awakened out of the matrix. You're still in the matrix. I ain't saying that you can't use the word, but who made the word earth? You can still use it. Just because, you, just because I'm saying that the word is wrong and how do we know that it exists if somebody else that you call your oppressor made it up and you're against that oppressor that made it up. What I'm saying is you can still use it, but don't use it in a sense that it has credibility of an existence. That's all I'm saying. I ain't coming to sugarcoat shit. And the reason I'm not coming to sugarcoat it is because it's not sweet. Sugar can sometimes be bitter to the mouth of those who hasn't tasted the food that has an agenda that these so-called teachers is putting in their mouth. So you can look at salt and think it's sugar, but you won't know that it's salt until you put it in your mouth. But just because the person teaching that it's salt or teaching that it's sugar, you taste it and be like it's bitter. And some people still taste it and say that it's bitter and still follow it because they don't even know what the taste is. And we can keep going. I can keep going from here. Where are we for real? What these two physical eyes is giving you is only a mirage of something being created by something that created it. I'm going to say that again. These two eyes are giving you something that by somebody who created something that was created by somebody else. And now guess what? You are creating it as an, a reality and this is why you are seeing it. You are seeing the earth even though you haven't been outside the earth or whatever to see the earth yourself. You only see it in school books. You see it on television. NASA give it to you. So now you go and use NASA to fight me. But yet the same people who you are against work for NASA. So how can NASA or the, the children who work for NASA that you say these are the children of the oppressors, how can you use their credibility against me when you're supposed to be against them? It seems like we have a few confused teachers still living in the so-called conscious community and in the metaphysical community and in the spiritual community because we're still using ideologies from people who we say we hate. How can we hate something that we are using food to eat off of to shit on somebody else from the food that they are giving us? It don't make sense to me. This is why I backed off of doing videos, doing lectures. Vampires are real. And they don't, they're not here just to suck your blood. I mean, blood is energy. But they give you the picture of vampires sucking blood. But what is blood? We're going to talk about that too. Is blood blood? Or did they put you under that spell to make you think that it's just some component, some chemical that 
it's running flowing through our body that can only let us know what's going with us as far as our disease. No, blood allows you to see the frequencies and the planets that you're connected to. Blood allows you to see which four moons you'll be more susceptible to when they come. Some people are more closer to them in January. Some people more closer to them in November. So, all blood is not alike. So, we see people say, well, we all bleed alike. Don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. One drop of blood holds a billion light years of ancient intelligence. One drop of blood holds a billion light years of ancient intelligence. Do you know how much a billion light years? Of, that's like counting to a million in two seconds. That's like experiencing a hundred years in one quarter of a second. So when you go and you give these people your blood, your sperm, your plasma, which has copper contained in it, your brain sets in copper. The real, what we call the sun, contains copper. And this is why, and this is why by way of photosynthesis, we convert sunlight into energy. Not just dark-skinned people. Because the skin is not only on the outside, it's in the eyes. So you might have lighter-skinned people with dark eyes who can convert by way of photosynthesis sunlight into energy. Anybody that teach you to think on a physical level teaches you to think on a kindergarten level. They don't teach you to see people on a spiritual level. There's other levels beyond spiritual. And if I start talking about that, that'll be for the next lecture that I do. Because we have culture. We have different DNA cultures. We have different planetary systems, which is a culture that supersedes the physical cultures. DNA is how you think. DNA is not only some physical substance that you draw from the body. If you set your child in front of me, and your child is autistic, and that child start playing with those blocks, and I sit another child beside me who you deem as being intelligent, and I tell them to build block, build those blocks, that intelligent child might build those blocks perfectly. But it may be perfect here. But where that autistic child is, the way that he built his blocks may be off to you. But off where that autistic child is in another dimension, that's perfect in that dimension. And that dimension is far higher and superior than this dimension. But you will look at that intelligent child as having the perfect building of blocks. When it's not true. This is what I'm talking about. Everybody's thinking is not perfect. Everybody's perfect is not identical. Do you get what I'm saying? We are incoherent to certain things that is placed beyond or before us. And we can't see it because we are using the wrong eyes to try to analyze. These eyes is more of an oppressor than the people who you think is your oppressor. Because these eyes make you think that what you're seeing is real, but what you're seeing is not actually real. And even if it was real, remember it starts here. So that can exist without this. Even, I can say that this glass is before me. Why? Because you can see it. But who can see it? The physical body can see it because you are giving it current and source. Just like if I plug a cord into the wall, I'm giving the TV source and power to be able to reflect or to distribute its images to me to be able to see under an illusionary um, tower or an illusionary reality. But in my mind, my mind really can't, my real mind can't see this. But because my eyes is, is taking the power from my mind, it's controlling, it's using that energy to, as a, a reconstruction component to control what I see. So yes, the physical body can see it, but your mind is not really seeing this. So if you tap into your real eyes, you can see what these two eyes can't see. 
That's real comedic science. That's real magic. We're not talking about some spookisms. We're not talking about, oh, I can make this float. We're talking about real magic. We're talking about something that can accommodate us in places that is in places that is in places that is in places that you can't see. Those places is here. You ever seen a spiral go all the way around? That's the world within a world within a world within a world. So your mind can pick up on those. It can actually break down with that 0111011, 100111. That's the spiral. That's the image of a spiral telling your mind something. But you are so conditioned to read the elementary images through these eyes that you are not tapping into your real mind to tap into that 0111011, which is other dimensions, binary codes. The binary codes in you is what's being controlled by these military towers that they place in your community. And when I say they, I'm talking about people who are not so-called human. You're not human either. But I'm only speaking on your level to those who only, who are just waking up in this jurisdiction. Binary codes. It's images. Words. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Look it up. Binary codes. Why 0 and 1? Powerful within the jurisdiction of binary codes. Because 0 and 1 creates 2 and 3. 0 and 1 creates 1 million. So without the 0 and 1, there would be no other numbers. So on a physical realm, you are only seeing the 0 and the 1 paradigm. You cannot shift beyond to the two or three until you actually use that mind. This is when all of your, this is when you will come out of the world. And the Bible says, come out of the world, be ye transformed by the renewing. Be ye not of the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind. The Bible don't tell no fibs. It's giving you truth, but you have to see it under a metaphysical man and beyond. Don't let me just sit here and tell you that metaphysics is what it is. There's other things beyond metaphysics, quantum physics, quantum mechanics, that we could use to tap into as a remote to turn certain channels in our subconscious within our dreams. We are the ancestors that we are seeking. How are you going to leave Christianity and say that ain't no now that you just going to save you, you got to save yourself to the people in the so-called conscious community, but then come into the conscious community and say that we're looking for our ancestors to help us want to tap into the same. No, you're doing the same thing that you did in Christianity. So how are you going to talk about Christians when you look for a Christ to come out of the fucking clouds? Then you wake up and say, okay, I have to do for myself. But you're looking for the ancestors, which you are, to come out of some damn clouds or somewhere to save your ass. It's no difference. you acting just like the religious nuts that you are judging, that you are oppressing. It's just that you are doing it on another level. you jumping from the frying pan to the pot and from the pot to the kettle. And sooner or later, if you don't wake up, Meaning to go to sleep. If you don't wake up, you're gonna jump from the from the from the pot from the kettle to the trash can, and somebody gonna bag you up and sit you out on side of the curb. It's time to utilize our strengths beyond the history of looking for something to come save us. Because before we came into the womb of our mother, this is why we we're born on a full moon. Because the full moon is the portal that we come from. To come into the, 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 the physical womb of the woman to be able to channel, to turn channels. So, this life is TNT. Your past life was BET. Your next life might be MTV. Channel. We channel. It's in our DNA. The, the greater source is the remote. And it sends us to the channel that best fits us. But we don't think so because we want to sit on our lazy asses and look for a fucking handout when self-preservation is supposed to come from self after government. If you're if you a so-called black man, right, talking about the government is oppressing you, then stop marching against them and create a plan for what you reproduce, your children, your queen, yourself. 
so that the, your scripts can be written and encoded and pre-encoded through their DNA so that the, it will be easier for them wherever they go from here. It's time to stop blaming because we are using that as a crutch for being weak. Admit to yourself that you're weak. Come up with a plan and utilize your magic, your mind. Even if your money come in slow, let the rain fall until the puddle come and then after the puddle comes the ocean. Then you can swim in your thoughts, which is those raindrops. Put them into places. Put them into play. Do something that can benefit you and your family. So before I go, this is going to be a short lecture. Like I said, we're going to do this once a month. So go to my Queens page, Trifania Ose. T-R-I-F-A-N-Y-A. Ose, O-S-E-I. Send her your questions and your name. And on a date that we do our honor to her as far as the lecture, I'll answer that and I'll call your name out with the question. Black Science TV 111, 064, I'm out. Peace.